<laughs> you look as big as your hey, breasts. Hey, hey. Are you, are you friends with someone on my face? I do. Yeah. Okay, can we see that? Can you go on her page? I just want to read her blog. Visitors and whores, that's about you. Yeah. She had a visitor and you're the whore. Oh, the blog on the community. Oh, damn it. She is an idiot for writing a blog on her stupid MySpace. Who the hell does that? I don't even know what a blog is. I just know it's writing. It said visitors and whores. And I'm like, huh, that was yesterday. What's going on? We have reason to believe that you've been writing bad stuff about us on your blogs, on your MySpace. I wrote things in the very beginning about everybody in the house, but none of it was made. Visitors and whores is recent. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. recent because there's visitors okay. and then there's... What are, you, what are you trying to do here? I've been nothing but nice to you. I know. You know what? You wrote stuff about Cordelia and, and she, she saw it, by the way. She saw everything you wrote. I didn't write anything bad about her. Oh, uh, really? Uh, really? Because it hurt her so bad that Cordelia cried about it. Are you serious? Yes. I've had a lot of things go through my mind, but when I write it down, it helps me get my stuff out there and understand so it inside it my mind. So why do you write things about your friend? The person who, who what, takes I you... Don't Hey, why are you writing stuff about me? What's your problem with me? I don't think I've written anything about you, honestly. I what really have you written about any of us? I would love to know. Okay, I'm sorry if I've said something bad about you when you and I were fighting, probably. Come clean and just show everyone everything. And then so every we can so so all be out there. No, it's it's be we're going to make it like a living hell. Like, I, will. I don't respond to threats. We're not threatening you. We're asking you to end this. I Thank promise you, you I will Let's not go. and I will not. If she does print it out, have any of you jump in her face? I will not. Do you understand, Hannah? Do you understand, darling? I don't want to know what's said about Do you understand? No, no, no. You cannot jump in her face. You have my word. My blog is set to private, but if I don't read the blog, then they'll never trust me again, and my life here is going to be hell. If I do just put it out there, we can talk about it, and then it won't be secretive, and something productive will come from it. This is going to make peace, because we know about it. There is bad stuff in here. I mean, That's I'm not going to lie. That's fine. That's fine. fine. But we're already Please, we're not allowed to be. Okay. okay. My weekend would have been wonderful if not the fact that I live in a mental asylum. Especially when you have out-of-town guests. They don't always get along with other cellmates. Oh, I'm a criminal. Thank you. Everyone here is nuts and very, very unhappy in their own lives. I really am the only person who tries to have a positive attitude. And the rest are just haters by nature. I'm the one that always told everybody to leave Andrea alone. And Andrea had the nerve to put me in the category of horse and haters. I feel played. You can't play a player, player. I'm a player. Okay. Don't ever talk about my life because I'm not a miserable bitch. Pretty, can I talk to you? I do not right here. Yes. Yes. Right here. She just, you guys just said to me that if I let you guys read out that blog, but we still no, hate you. No. Hey! You guys said no matter what I said in it, we would talk about it afterwards because no, we said it was out in the open. No, no, we lied. You're sleeping outside. You're sleeping outside. There's a room outside. You're going out there. It is not my job to go save Andrea. I'm still angry, and I'm not going to put on a nice, polite face. I'm going to be mad. And it's so strange because normally I'm on the other end of that screaming. Cordelia, can I just talk to you? No, like, no, no, talk, talk to her. You. There, that's right. No, talk, talk to her. To I'm hurt. My feelings are hurt. I know and I'm not. Hurt. I would never even think that about you. It's refreshing for a change to see Cordelia yell and have a valid point. Good job, Cordelia. I officially welcome you to the hyenas. Can you please just let me talk to Cordelia? For no, a she was hurt by so many people in this house. You leave her the alone. I'm not playing with you. Get out. Get away from her. Get out of her face. You need to back up out of her back face. Back up out of her. Get, get away really from her. Do. Andrea cannot get back with Cordelia. You cannot be friends with her anymore. It's over. I confided to her, and the only the She's only synopsis she has yeah. is that I'm miserable. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I have problems in my personal relationships, and so I got a little drink problem, but I've got my together. And I was like, how She's dare you friend. call She's me not a wreck? Cordelia has known about Andrea's blog for a while and never mentioned it. I think it's like like a little power trip. Andrea doesn't even know me. That's the problem. She doesn't. She doesn't know the background, any of the issues. You know what? She, she thinks she, she's she's mental. It was all private. But why did you read it? Because they tricked me. And like the funny thing is that Cordelia has a diary that nobody knows about. And yeah, she but was she didn't read it. Yeah, exactly. They're like a gang right now. Like that I am like the enemy. There's no way that I'm ever even gonna be able to tell Cordelia my piece because they're just gonna be jumping all over her to tell her not to trust me. The one person who I thought would understand where I'm coming from is Cordelia. But she feels like I betrayed her so much that she won't even look at me. And she's enjoying this in a weird way because for the first time in the house, I'm the target. If you leave, then they'll win. 
that's, that's that, right. Win what? If I stay, they win. If I stay and every day they sit here making my life hell, then they still win. No matter what, they've won, okay? They've won. She can't just sit there and say we're all unhappy and she's the only positive person in this house because it's not true. We've all come a long way, and I think that's why, if anything, maybe that's why we're upset. Because she's trying to judge things that she has no idea yeah. about. Andrea doesn't let anyone know how she feels. We can talk things out if you have a problem. We don't write it down, and we don't go behind people's backs. I was nice to this girl. No offense to none of y'all. I don't trust anybody here. But I don't think she could have done anything to make it better, because what she going to do, erase it? She already wrote it. That's the way she feels, apparently. Andrea, to me, is kind of like an ex-boyfriend. And he's trying to get back with you. And I don't think that Andrea deserves Cordelia's friendship. Well, she knows it's not going to be very pretty in this house if she's in here. It's not going to be pretty at all. Yeah. I think Andrea's feeling like, oh, my God, I wish I was never born <laughs> right now. But, hey, Andrea, I mean, you're a kitten and we're pit bulls. And uh, I just hope you can make it out alive. you can talk to me right now? I'm still a little upset. Understandable. Part of me wants to just tell you to go f off and leave the house. And then the other part of me says, you know, but we used to be friends. So I'm really torn. And I know that it hurt you a great deal. And for that, I am truly, truly sorry. Cordelia has been nothing but amazing to me. She took me under her wing. She stood up for me. And I crapped all over our friendship.